Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Gala. So Gala has entered the forecasted target zone, or let's call it support zone. So there's a large support zone here. We've entered it. Um, yesterday, we talked about two possible scenarios. They are actually both bullish. We've got the first scenario. I'm going to show it to you again after we reversed in our green support area, the large area, which is relevant short term, medium term and long term. We did rally quite a bit in five waves actually. So the first Elliott wave count suggests that this was actually a wave one. We came down in a wave two here when it bottomed on the 15th of March around three and a half cents. We then rally now in a third wave, but this third wave consists of five sub waves. So it would indicate in this particular count that this move to the upside was actually a wave one. We can get away with counting it as a five wave move. It's a bit ambiguous, but therefore we've got some problems counting some of these subwave structures at the moment. But to keep it simple, we've got these support areas and as long as they hold, we should treat them like that, right? Not, okay, what happens if it breaks and whatever? No, they hold at the moment. So we can be, um, you know, we, we can be optimistic that it will turn around. That's at least as long as these support areas are holding, a bullish outcome would be expected, especially given the context that we rallied in five waves here before. And then generally here, the five wave move ups of the December lows. Uh, of course, things can change, then we have to adjust. But um, the idea is that we rallied in a five wave move here to the upside on Saturday, 18th of March. We're now coming down in a wave two. We hit now the golden ratio, the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement that is relevant for this orange wave count, the sub wave structure, basically a one, two setup, which should ideally turn around here, or at least as long as we hold above 3.9 cents, as long as we are turning around above 3.9 cents, I will count the move up if it's impulsive as a third wave. So yeah, it's basically this sub wave structure count that, foot, that should fill out this larger third. This is one of the wave counts and um, not an unlikely option. Yeah, so it's quite quite likely. I only show you likely options anyway. Um, among them, sometimes we have one that's more likely and one that's less likely. But um, yeah, I don't I don't even show you the very unlikely ones. So um, so this is one count, and the other count where the yellow support area will become relevant again is if the entire move. No, if um, one second. Yeah, if this was a wave one. We came down only in an A wave. This is an overshooting B wave and we come down in C now. So that would allow the price to drop a little lower. It would mean we've never finished this wave too. It would actually sit here. Yeah, and then we should rally in third afterwards. Okay, so that's sort of the situation we've got. And um, I think, you know, you can treat it as one large support area. We've now entered it. Um, and um, yeah, what would be the target? Let's say the target, let's say if we rally from here and I currently have no confirmation that we've that we've bottomed here, but let's say we do move up in a third wave, what would be a target for the orange third wave? So we're looking at the 1.618 extension, 6.5 cents. So I actually need to move that a bit higher. And that would also bring up the target for the yellow wave three. So yeah, and as long as we are holding the overall the 3.35 cent level, that's here the 78.6 retracement on the yellow chart or on the yellow support area, um, this larger one two setup is valid. And yeah, if we drop below the yellow support area, well, then we are heading back into the green larger support zone. Um, but I'm, I'm telling you now that yes, it would still be um, a relevant support area, but it would then Ideally, we turn around. I mean, ideally we, ideally, we hold the yellow box because if we drop back into the green one, it will start to look a bit strange in terms of having then still upside potential. So I'm going to observe that very closely. For now, I leave it on the chart, the green box. Yeah, I think it's still relevant. But um, if the situation changes, I will let you know. Okay, that's my update about Gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.